but, but, but first of all, you have to understand something about chess. Of course, uh, I'm better than Morphy. Why am I better than Morphy? I know, he, he, I don't say I have more talent than him, I just know much more theory, right? If he came back today and he could not open a book, let's say, right? He, he would do badly against, uh, even against masters, maybe. That has nothing to do with his talent, though, right? So when you say, I'm better than so it doesn't mean anything because of all this theory in chess. But now, if you were to say, am I the most talented player, that's something else. Are you the most talented player? Well, again, I think so. But maybe, you know, that's just my opinion. You know, Morphy was fantastic, Capablanca was fantastic. What about later? Welcome to another chess game of Paul Morphy in the Paul Morphy's chess game series and in this game Paul Morphy has the white pieces and his opponent is a player with no name. This game has been played in New Orleans in 1855 and as you can see Paul Morphy is playing without one of his rooks. He surrendered one of his rooks before the game and that's a huge disadvantage for white and Paul Morphy starts the game with playing e4 e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to c4, bishop to c5, b4, bishop takes on b4, c3, bishop to c5, d4, all the standard moves by Paul Morphy, e takes on d4, c takes on d4, attacking the bishop, bishop to b6, and after this move, Paul Morphy castled d6, Knight to c3, knight to a5, bishop to d3, bishop to g4, bishop to e3, defending on d4, queen to f6, but then Paul Morphy played knight to d5, attacking the queen, queen to d8, h3, asking the bishop a question, bishop takes knight, queen takes bishop, knight to f6, and after this move, Paul Morphy played bishop to g5 and this game gets more interesting after bishop to g5 because it looks like paul morphy blundered his d-pawn that's why black happily captures the d-pawn with the bishop one more time paul morphy played a very interesting move and he played e5 he is sacrificing everything like a madman Bishop takes on e5, rook to e1, black has lots of material, black has three pawns up, and black has one extra rook. Black castled. Paul Morphy played a very aggressive move, and he sacrificed the exchange. Rook takes bishop, believe it or not. Pawn takes rook, what else? And now it's more clear for us to see Paul Morphy's real intention. Now it's more clear. It's white to move. And Paul Morphy played. Knight takes knight. Pawn takes knight. Bishop takes on f6. And after this move, black resigned. Unbelievable. If a move like queen to d7, let's say, this is not what happened in the game, then queen to g3, check, only defense, queen to g4, queen takes, queen checkmate. But some people are claiming that after this move, black is actually winning, or black could survive. It was unnecessary for black to resign for some people, but according to the engine, if let's say, not 
queen to d7, but queen takes bishop on f6. Then queen takes queen, and black is surviving. But according to the engine, in the end game, black is losing. Now I'm going to show you the other possible continuation. I'm going to demonstrate the other moves, but it's a very, very long line. So I'm going to show you as fast as possible. Maybe knight to c6, bishop to e4, rook from a to d8, queen to g5, check king to h8, queen to f5, threatening checkmate, king to g7, queen takes on h7, king to f6, queen to f5, king to e7, and let's play faster. It's a very long line, but of course it's almost impossible for Paul Morphy to think this deep, because it's not possible for a human to see all these moves. Maybe rook to b5, h4, f5, g3, c5, king to g2, king to d6, h5, rook d to b8, king to f3, rook to h8, queen to a6, let's check, c6, queen to a7, rook takes on h5, queen to f7, rook to h1, and let's play faster. Queen to f8, check, king to d7, queen takes, on f5, check, king to c7, queen to f7, check, king to d8, queen to f4, rook from h to a1, queen to d6, check, king to e8, queen takes, on c6, check, king to f7, queen to d7, king to f6, queen to d6, king to f7, queen to d5, king to e8, queen to e6, king to d8, and as you can see, white is not losing. Also, white has two passed pawns. Queen takes on c5. Rook 1 to a5. Queen to e3, check. King to f7. Queen to b3, check. King to e7. Queen to g8. Rook to a8. Queen to g7. King to e6. f4. Rook to a4. Queen to g6. King to d5. King to g5. Rook to d4 f5, rook to e4, f6, rook to b8, king to h6, rook from e to e8, queen to f5, king to d4, f7, and black is losing, rook to f8, king to g7, king to c4, g4. Actually, it's impossible for black to stop these pawns. Rook B to C8. And what would you do in this position if you had the white pieces? Of course, the correct move is queen takes rook. If you find this move, congratulations. Rook takes queen, G5, king to D4, F pawn promoted to a queen, rook to C7, king to H6, king to E4, G6, king to D5, queen to F5, king to D6, g7 rook takes on g7 king takes rook and it's all over for black according to the engine that's why black resigned after this move bishop takes on f6 but those 82 moves is only possible if black would play flawless against paul morphy so black is losing. That's why black resigned. And what a beautiful, aggressive chess game by Paul Morphy. He sacrificed everything like a madman. But eventually, he crushed his opponent. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. And I hope to see you next time. Take care.